Hello, come in, come in. Hi, guys. It's Super Mayor Tiffany A. Hingard, the People's Mayor and People's Supervisor. I'm going to give a moment for people to come in so I can talk about this $1 million giveaway. So, come on in, come on in. We ready. We ready. <laughs> Come on in, guys. Got some great news, some epic news, and I want to share it with the world. Because y'all know one thing about your super marriages. I'm going to always, always put on for my city. Um, um, that part. So come on in. I'm going to give you like two minutes, two minutes. Because I know y'all been waiting. Try to wait till everybody get off work before we did this live. Yeah. I love what I do, and I love making sure that the people get everything they possibly need. Yep. Hey, I see y'all. Hey, Maureen. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all know I always got something going on, but it's always positive. It's always love. I just wish that the world would just show you my heart, which is my heart is for the people. Um, I've been doing this for the last, what, 10 years. I'm a decade in. Look at that, guys, a decade in. Um, and I love what I do, which is service. Um, you got to have a heart for the people in order to do this job um, that you see me do so effortlessly. And I just want people to um, know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. But today, I'm going to educate you on a couple of things. Before we start with the $1 million that I know you all are tuning in for, I want to tell you what the township actually do. Um, a lot of people don't know the township exists. Over 80% did not know Thornton Township exists. People in South Holland, Lansing, Riverdale, Harvey. It's said that people did not know that you had a resource center in your own backyard. For those that don't know what a township supervisor and board does, we are a resource center. We help you with all the things uh, as it relates to a necessity. So your light bill, your gas bill, your water bill. I even help bury your loved ones. Um, people don't know that. We help here at the Thorn Township up to $1,000. So if you're struggling and you cannot afford to pay for burial, you cannot afford to uh, cremate a loved one, uh, please reach out to us. That's in our general assistance department. A lot of people don't even know that exists, but it exists here in your township. And you must, let me repeat, you must live in Thornton Township in order to benefit from these resources that we have. Um, something else that GA does, which is general assistance, we also help pay um, other bills so, such as mortgage and rental assistance. So if you need help with things like that, guys, I need you to reach out. Call our line, 708 596-6040. Again, 708-596-6040. Um, and then press the extension for whatever you need. We have a food pantry. We have transportation. We have senior services. We have after school programs. We also have wheelchair ramps that we give to our seniors and our veterans. People don't know. When you don't know, you don't know how to respond. So I want to just kill a lot of the noise that's going around in our communities. Um, it said that bad news travel faster than positive news and I'm here today to tell you that um, this too shall pass for what you see your super mirror going through because people can lie um, they can tell tales they uh, send people off and I don't appreciate that because anybody that saw me grow you know where I come from you know how I became the person I am. Everybody knows me from Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? I've always, always been an uh, entrepreneur. I always had that um, go get a spirit. And I'm always going to work. Anybody know that you can't outwork Tiffany in you? Because when you sleep, I'm on the street. When you sleep, I'm taking care of the wheel of the people. So I just want people to know um, that I care and that I really, really, really give up my life for community people I don't know and it's a shame that you do get dragged um, in the media um, for things people just say hearsay and I just wish that people will check facts before you judge don't judge anybody because at the end of the day you cannot judge anybody you only got one person to ask it to and that's you and God 
Because when it's that time, everybody that you've been kicking with, hanging with, uh, keeping up mass and turmoil with, guess what? They're not going to be nowhere to be found. So I just need you guys to take a moment and understand that I am human too. And I do uh, have a heart and feelings and emotions too. And you guys see that I wear it on my sleeve majority of the time. But um, I'm, I'm going to go through it. But at the end of the day, watch me grow through it. And I want you guys to see this as you see me elevate. Um, I've had amazing opportunities before me. I got the opportunity to go to the White House. Yes, the White House. Uh, thank you, President, uh, for the invite. And I thank you for all the love and support that you're going to give the soft land. I got a lot of great information to tell you when we did have our conversation. Yes, me and the President of the United States had a one-on-one -on -one conversation as it relates to what we're going to do in the soft land. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to show you that. I'm going to tell you that. And I want you to stay um, focused and have um, tunnel vision when it comes to the mess because there's so many messy people, but they don't want you to get your flowers. And I am here today to give you your flowers as your super mayor, um, Tiffany A. Henry. So first, I'm going to start with transportation. We have a transportation department here in Thorne Township. So if you're watching, if you're a senior, or if you are a resident and your mom live in this community but you no longer do, please reach out to us and we will take your parent or you from A to B. So if, that means if you got a doctor appointment, if you need to go to the grocery store, you need to go to the hair salon, yes, we will make sure we pick you up and take you so you can get all the services that you need. So I want you to know, just call us and schedule that. And that's between the hours of um, 7 a.m. until... Uh, uh, 4 p.m. and sometimes 5. So just let us know. Even on weekends, sometimes we're working on that for a Saturday uh, route for you residents. Uh, senior services, we have a senior department in Calumet City, Riverdale, and South Holland. So if you need help, I'm talking to my seniors, y'all need help as it relates to uh, a health check or anything from just y'all need friends. Guess what? We are one big family here at Thorn Township. We have Big Bingo every third Thursday of the month. It is jam-packed. Over 500 people show up. And yes, you win air fryers, Keurigs, microwaves, stoves, refrigerators. Um, uh, what's the big one that they like? The dryer and the washer they just did this past uh, time. So I just want you guys to know that we have these things for residents. Everything that we do here in Thorn Township is free. Free. You don't have to pay anything. It is free. All you have to do is sign up and be prepared to come and show up and show out and enjoy all the resources that we have to offer. Uh, one thing that I can say about Tiffany, meaning myself, is that when I came, a lot of things wasn't in place. A lot of things was um, at numbers of 100. When I came in, I increased the numbers three times, quadrupled the times, and now um, residents know that Thornton Township exists. As it relates to our food pantry, we got beans, greens, potatoes, you name it, it's in the box. We got fresh produce, guys. When I came, you guys all wanted fresh produce. We didn't have that. We really just had canned goods. So it's a lot of great things that we have turned around here at Thornton Township, but I just want you guys to just stop, pause for a minute, and read. Pay attention. Stop listening to nothing sense because you can discount your blessing because you're not opening your minds um, to the goodness that we actually do produce here at Thornton Township. Um, another thing we have is after school program. The after school program here at Thornton Township is for um, youth ages uh, 16, well not 16, from what third grade to eighth grade. And then what we do is we pick your baby up from school. So if you are a parent, you work a nine to five, you can call us and we'll pick the baby up and we'll take them to our Thornton Township township building in Riverdale and where they will learn Spanish because I'm real big on bilingual. That's another way that a kid can have an advantage when it comes to an application because I want our kids to have the things that the schools are taking out. I also have something for penmanship. So those that want to learn how to write in cursive, um, this is for you because right now you ask kids and people to write, write their name to do um, signature, put the signature down, they write it, they print it. So my job is to make sure that I give our kids the tools necessary to succeed in this uh, world or this so-called life. So I just want you guys to know that that is here for you. And the last but not least, uh, music, guys. Yeah, You guys know how we grew up and we had music class? Because you got to give the kids some kind of opportunity to do self-expression. So that is also another thing that we have here in Thornton Township. Um, next, 
I want to basically bring on uh, KP, uh, Key Price. He is over our food pantry because I want you guys to hear from the person that runs it every day so I can tell you how our numbers have increased. We was at 100 people we was uh, serving before we came here. And now we serve 500 people every Wednesday. 500 people come, needy people. This is how bad it is as it relates to food. People need food in our communities. And my job is to make sure we supply it, make sure that we have it available for you so I'm gonna bring KP up come on down KP and we're gonna let him talk to you guys about our food pantry here in Thornton Township every Wednesday come get food if you are a senior or a veteran or a disabled person you can get your um, food delivered to your house so um, here's Keith Price he's gonna talk to you about the food pantry so come on down okay KP come on up gotta make a little room for me <laughs> yep. good evening everyone thank you for having me super mayor Welcome. First, I would like to say uh, thank everybody that's tuning in and give you a brief history on the food pantry. When I started at the food pantry, it was approximately 150 to 200 being served on Wednesdays. Uh, now, every Wednesday, we're reaching four, not 390 to 400 people. That's strictly on a Wednesday. During the month, we serve approximately 3,000 to 4,000 people depending on the size of which senior buildings we're going to. Uh, if you're a senior, all you have to do is be 60 or older uh, and you can have food delivered to you. Anyone can get on the program and I'll just tell you some of the ways that we save money at the food pantry. One was with the boxes. The original boxes everybody know were just cardboard with one print, <clears throat> with one color. Uh, they were paying three dollars a box when I got here uh, I found other companies we got the same boxes size wise and spec wise and we end up now we're paying two dollars a box but the big part about that is the boxes are now white with two colors so those things cost a lot more but we're still saving a dollar a box so approximately we save three to four thousand dollars just dealing with boxes a month. Uh, another thing that when I got here I heard a lot about was gas cards. The gas cards were being used obviously for people's personal gain. Uh, the gas cards was running up to four thousand a month. Right now we're about at eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars a month running our vehicles. Uh, and the twelve hundred is really only be because we got back the food rescue program where we go to Lamont four days a week so we're running a big truck four days a week out there to Lamont and back visiting uh, Sam's, Jules, uh, multiple businesses so I mean I'm very happy with the way it's going and we're just trying to improve the numbers have jumped drastically and they're going up every week every week we're registering 50, 60 to 100 new people in our line every week so these boxes, like I said, anyone, you can come on up. You can get, if you need food, please come get the food. Uh, we're not here to judge. We're here to help. We, uh, I like personally what I'm doing. I, I appreciate that Tiffany gave me the opportunity. And we're going to just keep pushing regardless of the naysayers. And one thing I know in this, this, this political field, if they cannot control you, they will try to get you out the way. Yeah. And that usually starts with slander, the yeah. straight smear campaigns. Yeah. Um, I thank you all for listening to me. I thank the mayor for having me. Yeah. And I'm going to get on out of here, and I'll see you all soon. Have a blessed night. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Appreciate you. All right. And uh, for the age for seniors, um, 65 is the age. And one thing I would like to say, though, is... He's absolutely correct for those that do think about running in uh, politics. People, when they can't control you, they do what you see them trying to do to me. Um, they do a smear campaign. Um, they lie on your name. Um, they do defamation of character. Y'all do know y'all get sued for that, right? But um, stay tuned. That's coming too. But I just want people to know, like, stop. Because if you don't have facts, you should not be speaking about something you know nothing about. At least have the facts before you speak. I told a couple reporters, um, you didn't have facts. And y'all saw me make another video, and I showed you that how they were just lying. 
So I got another video coming out, so stay tuned to that because uh, I'm not going to just allow people to keep lying on my name uh, when they have a national platform and it's said because um, they're just reporting because someone said so um, and didn't do no type of real journalist work. And I would appreciate it if they do do that. Um, the Food Pantry is in Harvey, um, so if you are interested in attending there on Wednesdays, you can go um, there and just get in line. And then the food is free. You just have to be a Thornton Township president. Uh, let's go to my next thing. Um, to the youth. I say this all the time. I am you. You are me. I am a product of 149, 148, 205. That's school districts. I grew here, as I always say. Everybody else flew here. So with that being said, this is why you guys see me stay in the fire, stay firm, stay consistent. And you guys see me um, as I climb this uphill battle because, hey, God did not say that it is not going to form. He said it will not pro prosper. So with that being said, I just want you to know that uh, I'm up for the battle. Um, I'm up for the fight because lately we've been winning and winning and winning. Um, despite what you may hear uh, out here, uh, we won every lawsuit when people sue us. Uh, I just want you to know that it's so much mess that uh, I just want people to be able to see clearly uh, that it is light at the end of the tunnel. So I just want to thank you once again for all of you that send me love, support, uh, flowers, uh, cards, emails, texts. Uh, I just appreciate the love. And I want to thank you to all my viewers and all my people that have been following me since day one. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Because I would not be uh, this young, strong woman that you see before you. And as I always say, I am the first. I am the first youngest female mayor of Dalton making history once and I am also the first youngest African American female female supervisor of the largest township in the state of Illinois so I have two big seats and I have um, become um, uh, a person that care about where we go from here I'll say that that's what I care about I care about planting the seed and watching it grow. I care about um, laying the foundation so those that come after me uh, won't have it as tough as me. But as I always say, I am the Martin Luther Kings. I am uh, the Malcolm X, the Harriet Tubman's, the uh, Rosa Parks. I am those individuals. And they too have stayed, stood in um, controversy or mess because they was the first. We talk about them, we read about them in school. And now you will read about your true person, which is Super Mayor Tiffany Henry, in the schools. I will be in the history books. I will be forever talked about, written about, but uh, um, I'm going to make sure my narrative is out there as well. I don't want no one telling my story or writing my chapter, because we're in chapter two right now. And in chapter two, you're going to see everything change course. Everything. Because now I am talking. Now I'm going to tell you the facts, because everybody put all this stuff out there, and now I want you to see what it really is with truth, paperwork, truth then judge don't judge people off of what people say because that, that reminds me of high school you know how you was in high school and people just talk about people that's what this is right now we all grown but we still gossiping and having a watch party but i hope you're watching this watch party though right because this is what we do right here the real watch party um where you want to hear from your leader but you want to hear from your person that actually governing uh the towns um please love on each other guys because life is short I say this all the time, um, you here today, gone today. It ain't here today, gone tomorrow no more. I just want you guys to know that um, this too shall pass. I'm going to keep it there. Uh, the million dollars. I know you are all tuned in for this million dollars, so we're going to talk about that. But I just want to keep on encouraging people to keep on keeping on. Because guess what? They talked about Jesus Christ, right? And he died for our sins. So I just want you guys to know that... Um, People go outside have something to say. And people don't talk about people that ain't doing the work. Obviously, you're doing the work. You're doing something right. They only talk about those that's, that's running circles around people that have been there for years. People have had these seats for years. And uh, what they have not done is people have not given back to the people. So every program that we create, every opportunity that we make, we make sure that we put it for the people first. When me and my team meet, we talk about how can we budget our funds for community, 
We talk to um, people in the in the communities, and they tell us, "Hey, uh, we are like a water park fence." Let me use that example. Hey, we are like a, a ice rink, a outdoor skating rink, or you know what? We need another food pantry. Those are the type of things that we talk about. But what I want you guys to know is, there is three referendum questions on the ballot. The main one I want to talk to y'all about um, is the mental health. Mental health is really dear to my heart because a lot of people come here to Thorn Township for help because they're dealing with mental issues. So whether it could have been a death in their family, whether it's one of their loved ones going through something, um, I speak to this all the time. Hold on one second. And I know Stan, I don't mind, but y'all know uh, Trustee Stan Brown. Him and his family is dealing with a mental illness issue currently now. Um, his nephew is an NF player, NFL player, and he is dealing with mental illness. Um, there was a death in their family, and now they're going through the courts because they're saying that the individual um, did the crime. This is all allegedly, of course, meaning people can say whatever, but you have to go through the court systems. And I'm only saying that because um, his, his mental illness is what the issue is. And I'm saying this again. We must provide those type of resources in our community. It's a shame that people will get together and tell you guys not to vote for something you truly need, which is services. Y'all need services in your community so when that do hit your household, or if it hits your household, you have somewhere to turn to. It's a shame that every other township have voted for mental illness um, um, resources to be in their township. We have to do the same exact thing. And currently right now, we don't have a thing like that in our um, resource center um, as relates to getting all the services. So let me rephrase. If you come to Thorn Township and you need the help, of course, we're going to make sure you have an avenue. Of course, we're going to provide um, someone office that you can go to and talk to because right now what's on the rise suicides are on the rise mental illnesses are on the rise and, and cancer is on the rise yeah y'all know how i feel about that cancer so those are the three things that i always get um people that come to thorn township and ask me for help for so with that being said i want to make sure i provide a way so our people can make sure they get the help and resources i love our gr department our gra department has been doing awesome they have been helping so many people, and that brings me to um, be bold, be strong, but be courageous as you fight whatever you're dealing with. It could be cancer. Uh, everybody know my story as it relates to my mom. My mom had breast cancer, and I know that that was really tough for me um, being a young lady, and I had to take over my household, um, becoming a mom at a young age to my brother and my sister because my mom could no longer provide because she was going through chemo and radiation. You guys know that how hurtful I am about that. So I'm not going to keep talking about because I'm not going to cry today. I'm not going to cry. But I love you, Mama. And I just want you to know that I thank you for your strength. I thank you for just creating um, a way for us. And I know that the struggle was real because we could not afford things like food or uh, a prosthetic breast for her. So I just want people to know that that do happen. As it relates to Black History Month, um, please uplift us women at this time of need. Don't sit here and let people beat up on women. I know it's hard for us to, to plant our feet because the struggle is weird. But I need you guys to uplift us, um, guide us, keep us in your prayer because we are in a, a men's world. We are in the boys club and they feel we don't belong here. So I speak for all the women that have been um, disrespected, that have been um, pushed to the side, ignored, and I, I speak to that because I don't want anybody, anybody going through anything like that. So I want people to um, encourage women in this Black History Month because we need support too. Um, believe it or not, we are the backbones of, of America, whether you want to admit to it. <laughs> but I just want you to know, please support us women. Um, next, I'm going to bring on Tanika because I want you guys to know about general assistance. And it's about the million dollar giveaway that we're having today. So Tanika, come on down so we can go over this. But um, please follow me. Um, if you're watching right now, press the follow button uh, so you can get all the updates that I have. I have a lot of things I'm doing this month. So you have to stay tuned because you never know what Super Mayor is going to do. 
Uh, let's keep everybody on their toes. But I have a lot of giveaways that I'm about to do. Uh, we was, um, I was not awarded yet because the money haven't came in yet for $9.2 million here at Thornton Township and $6.8 million for the village of Dalton. Uh, once they release the funds, uh, the funds will come down and we will create programs for our community. I know one big program we did last year, we helped the youth. And I'm real big at the at-risk youth because I'm real uh, big on second chances. A lot of people tend to turn their back on me, and y'all need to stop doing that. I'm going to make sure I help our kids because at the end of the day, you don't know when it's your kid. You don't know your kid can make a mistake, be at the wrong place at the wrong time, but we have to make a way for them because guess what? When they make that mistake, who they come to, where they going to live at? Right in our own backyard in Thornton Township. They go to grandma house, auntie house. They go to those people. And we have to say, hey, we understand you made that mistake, but now let's fix it. Because what matters is how you come out of the mistake. Yeah, you hear me. You're going to mess up. But I'm not here to sit here and beat you down after you made your mistake. I want you to do better. I want you to learn from your mistake. But I want you to know that Super Mayor Tiffany Henry got your back. Because no matter what nobody say, y'all know Super Mayor Tiffany Henry care. Nobody care, but Tiffany care. So I want people to know that. Um... I understand that it's going to take um, a village to raise our communities, and I need people to, to do that. Because when I grew up, we had block club parties. We had people that knew their neighbor. We all knew each other, and I want to bring that back because right now we're losing focus of that. Because somebody make a mistake, y'all turn y'all back so fast. That's not right. I just think we should focus more on what we're going to do. Um, if you want to follow me any with anything else, go to my TikTok. You can go to Instagram. You can go to, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. You can follow me on all my platforms. But press the follow button if you're watching this right now so that you'll get the updates because I got some more good things coming. Uh, you think this epic. Just wait till the next thing I'm going to do next month um, because I'm I'm innovative. I'm the one that's going to actually go out, do the work, do the research. Uh, I always ask the lawyer what I can do and what I can't do. And when they give me the green light, I come and I show up and show out for y'all. And I produce it here on my own platform where uh, people can't dictate uh, what, they tell you, because I hate when they cut and chop stuff up. They tell you half of what I say and not the entire truth. So I just want you guys to know that we have Township Talk every fourth Wednesday of the month. It's from 5 to 7 p.m., where you will hear from Supervisor Tiffany Henry here in Thorn Township. Location is 333 East 162nd Street. Please show up if you want answers to questions. Uh, please come down there. Last, um, was it last month? This month. This month, it was really good. Well, we in February. So last month, it was really good. Um, people came out. They listen to every department and what they do in every department. And if they needed help or resources, they was able to talk to them and get it right then and there. So what I want people to know, because my job is to educate. God gave me this platform. And with this platform, I'm going to make sure I give the information out. Because y'all know the saying. Our people will what? Perish for lack of knowledge. I want you to know. So I'm going to give you the tools to know what we got going on. Also, Computer Lab. We have Computer Lab is open at our Riverdale location at 14323 Halsted. It's open Monday through Friday from 9 to 3. So if you're interested or need to write a resume or need to do some research on something on a project, you can go there. It's free. And I spoke to you about the after school program. The after school program is every single day, Monday through Friday, guys. We will pick your babies up from school and take them so they can get um, some much needed help. And we also do tutoring. We help them with their homework. So at least when you get them at 7 o'clock, you don't got to do anything but uh, just go over what we went over with them. Uh, transportation, I spoke to that. I'm just reiterating it. Uh, if you need a ride, please reach out to us and we will pick you up and take you to where you need to go. If you need us, I'm going to put up on the screen our call log so that you call any department for anything that I just mentioned today. Food box, call the food pantry. They will deliver it to your home. You must be a senior, senior, disabled uh, person or a veteran. So make sure you do that and we will make sure you get what you need. And then something that's really true to my heart is tech savvy. Because, again, my job is to educate. If you guys need help, we have Tech Savvy here in Thornton Township at the 333 East 162nd building. And it is from um, 11 to 1 p.m. It's the fourth Thursday of every month. So if you want to learn how to use your device, it can be your computer, your laptop, uh, anything, make sure you come here and we will help you. 
put uh, apps on your phone, show you how to work your Zoom so you can talk to somebody in another state. We will help you with all those things. So please reach out to us or show up and we will help you with that. Um, Tech Savvy is really big because no matter what y'all say, AI is going to take over. So I at least want you to have the tools you need to make sure you can keep up with things. Because I'm going to give you an example. Remember when we had that like two-way page or that little beeper and everybody like, I don't want no touch screen phone. Nah, that ain't for me. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the phones just came out and everybody had to adapt to the change. Because I understand change is hard. Change is necessary. But you have to make sure that you um, stay Focus and make sure you educate your mind to what's new, and then we give you the tools. It's free, 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 free. Um, what else want to talk? Oh, and Big Bingo, I told you about that. It's every third, third Thursday, um, in the basement, and it's from four until six p.m. Well, what was? I'm gonna take a couple questions real quick. She was telling me a couple people asking some questions. What What did they ask them about? Asking is Dalton for Dalton. So as your mayor, um, you guys know, we are not a sanctuary city. We are not taking in um, anybody. So I just want to just put that out there to you. So that's a negative. Um, what other questions you got? Any other questions? I'll just stop for a minute and take a couple of your questions. We're going to still answer the questions when we get off the live, but I just want you to know that no, Village of Dalton, no, 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 no. And as it relates to other cities, it's up to that, that mayor to choose what they want to do. But I can only speak for my city that I govern, which is the Village of Dalton. Um, we, no, negative. So if anybody's telling you that, or you see somebody, say something. See something, say something. That part. So if you don't let me know, can't help you. Help me help you by telling me, okay? Do that. All right, what else you got? Can they help you? Yes, we do help with water bills here at Thornton Township. Okay, they're getting the questions together for me that you guys are asking. They're asking about bed bugs in Thornton. Oh, at Thornton is that an issue? If a parent is concerned about their children. Somebody asking about bed bugs at Thornwood. So just so we know, and that's why I'm going to do this educational um, seminar or tour, I call it that, because a lot of people get um, the governments mixed up. Um, as you guys know, I am the mayor of the village of Dalton, and I'm also the township supervisor over all 17 cities. But with that being said, I'm just the resource for those cities. You still have a mayor that governs each and every city. As it relates to the school boards, the school board has their own body of government that you guys elect. And also the park and the library board have their own body of government because people mix them up. And they think that everybody's over everything. That's not true. So if you have an issue with the school, such as bed bugs, they have their own board of trustees. And that is, um, I think Nina Graham is the president of that board. So that's who you should give that concern to. Um, I will join you in that fight and that movement because I don't like, and I repeat, and I'm saying this publicly, I'm not that type of politician that had back here and be telling you, yeah, girl, go say that. No, I'm going to help you fight because they are our kids. Your kid, my kid. I know I look young, but your baby, my baby. So your concern is my problem, too. So with that being said, we're going to fix it together. So if I, you need my voice, you need my face, you need me to help you advocate for change in those schools, I will help because the schools have to change. I don't like what, they're, what I'm seeing. I don't like how they're doing things. I went to Thorn Ridge. I didn't go to Thornwood because I live in Dalton. So what I'm saying is um, I don't like the fact that the kids can swim. I just don't. When I went to school, we could swim. We had swimming lessons. We had swimming classes, but right now y'all don't have that. We have a whole pool in Thornridge with no water in it. I got a problem with that. But see, y'all gonna take me off my whole thing. So we'll get to that topic later because I'm real passionate about them schools because that's where I come from. So if I came from them schools and we had all these resources, all I'm saying, if people sit on them boards, I need y'all to do y'all job. Stay out of the mess. This is my point about messy people. Stay out of the mess and worry about the areas you govern. Fix them. Because I don't see, uh, I see you on here, one of them little news people. Uh, I don't see y'all running up on any of them. Y'all not talking about nobody else's stuff. It's just a whole smear campaign against me. The one doing the work. The one that's putting things out there and showing y'all that people not doing their job. So all I can say is uh, I'm going to keep fighting because I want change in the soft land. I'm going to keep showing up and I'm going to keep on pushing despite what you got to say about Tiffany Henry. Because at the end of the day, when people give you a blessing and God put you in two seats that you can actually reach across the aisle to help and help grow uh, a community, I wish everybody just get on board and help. Because we can go so much further if we just band together and stop dividing. What they trying to do is divide and conquer. 
The only people getting paid is guess who? The lawyers. Well, we'll talk about that another day. But y'all got to understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. I just want y'all to focus and um, keep on fighting because our kids, our black and brown kids in our communities are not getting the services that they need as it relates to the school district. And I want them to do better. And um, I get a lot of complaints and uh, questions about the school board that I don't, I don't govern the school board, but I am a parent too. So that's why I said your concern is my priority. So I just want you to know that my fight, I'm with you residents. So when y'all want me to help, let me know and I will be there. Um, next, we're going to talk about uh, this one million dollars. Oh, let me shout out my girl, Gloria White, baby. I love you, girl. Gloria White. Uh, Gloria White is running for state rep. So if y'all want to change state rep for the 29th district, make sure you punch or support. Like, cause I don't know her number. Just support Gloria White. Uh, because she's gonna make it all right. And we need that right now. We need somebody that's gonna advocate for change, advocate for things that we need in our communities. Um, and I think, um, that person um, need to have a chance, and that is Gloria White. Um, I do support you, Gloria, so good luck on your journey. Uh, I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And um, I'm tired of people uh, beating up on women. I don't appreciate that. So um, I stand with you in the fire against bullying. Stop bullying, guys, because y'all do know what y'all doing on the Internet is cyberbullying. I don't know if y'all saw the news. They were just going after what? It's called Mecca now, which was, it's really Facebook, and they was trying to get them because they had all these things of sex traffickers and, and things like that that was going on um, through Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. So I just want you guys to know um, what it is, and people don't know that. Um, before I announce this $1 million, uh, $1 million holler, I just want to give a shout out to my special board over here at Thornton Township. I want you to get confused. Thornton Township, Miss Trustee Darlene Gray Elvis, I love you. And also Trustee Carmen Carlisle and Trustee Jerry Jones. Won't stop, won't quit, don't bear. Trustees, I love you. Them three individuals, them three, you guys, I kid you not. They vote for every single thing that you need here at Thornton Township. Every resource. So when you come and you say you need your light bill paid, gas bill paid, water bill paid, mortgage, rent, even on burial. They are the individuals that make it happen. Without them, none of this is possible. So I thank y'all for the support, and I thank them for showing community, showing the world what a, a functioning board looks like when you don't have the mess. So I thank you, and I love you uh, just for the support and always uh, uh, voting for residents to have what they need and what they deserve. So thank you once again, uh, trustees from Thornton Township Board. <laughs> again, Trustee Darlene Gray Evans. Make sure you remember that name. Uh, Trustee uh, Carmen Carlisle and Trustee Jerry Jones. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to my highway commissioner, uh, Gary, I love you, I love you, I love you. I appreciate you. He has uh, taken care of every uh, road that's in an unincorporated area. So I want to thank him for showing up and showing out. And you know, I went and got money for him. You know, we went and got grant money. So we got like $250,000 for that project. But again, these are the things they don't tell you that your super mayor do, uh, that your board of trustees here at Thorn Township do um, when we band and work together. So I just want to point that out and give them all accolades because people don't give them their, their flowers. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to my board over here at Thornton Township for just showing up and showing out and helping the community. Um, next, I want to say, what? Stop it. <laughs> Um, next, I want to say to people that don't vote for things that's supposed to help residents of Thornton Township or or any board, um, shame on you because I don't like the fact that you get on platforms or get on the news and lie on people. It's shameful. Um, yeah, it's real shameful. So once again, I told you before, if the news uh, did they research, which they didn't. Um, they would have known that um, a lot of people went a lot of places, but y'all didn't report that. Uh, the people you guys use for, uh, I don't know, call them witnesses, that ain't credible. Uh, it's just sad because you give them a platform to tell lies and hatred and do division when you should ask them their track record, which ain't tracking because they don't vote for nothing to help residents in our communities. A lot of them hold up progress, and it's um, a shame that you have to beg and plead with people to do what's right. We all ran 
um, to help people. We all ran to help people. We didn't run for nothing else but that. So put your differences aside of who you don't like, don't care about, nobody care. I need you to vote because it's the right thing to do for the community. So if the residents need, they like bills paid, gas bill paid, you should vote to help them, right? If they need um, um, a different program, help them. We're supposed to always be elevating and improving and growing. And I want people to do that. And right now, I just want to point that out that y'all individuals that don't mean y'all no good. And only you can see that residents. I can point it out to you, take you to it. You know how they say, uh, you can lead a horse to the water but can't make a drink. Is that kind of scenario right now. So, you guys, I'm going to give you the facts, give you the proof. Uh, because, uh, stay tuned. I know y'all thought I was going to just be going off today. Uh, I do have a podcast, uh, coming. Uh, it's, uh, Tiffany Henry on the move. Uh, stay tuned to that because the stuff you want me to say today here at this moment, you will hear it next week on Tiffany Henry on the move podcast. And I will tell nothing but the truth. So help me God. And I want you guys to hear my side of the story because at the end of the day, you hear everybody else, uh, side of the story. Uh, -huh. What was the question? She said you get another question. What's it about? What, like, what they want to know about? What's the question? She said a couple people asking about property taxes. That is too high. Okay, so just so you guys know, that's another thing that I'm going to educate y'all on next week uh, when I drop the podcast. Um, I want you guys to know that every community, every community raises your property taxes by 4.99%. 4.99%. A lot of y'all do not know that. A lot of them tell you they do not, but they all have raised your property taxes. So you have to go to that community and ask them about um, their increase in your property taxes. I know people like to point the finger uh, and not take responsibility for their action. They should just educate you to the why. Sometimes people raise property taxes due to the fact of cost of living or uh, whatever their reason is for their community because you guess what? Every year, cost of living goes up. But people be so afraid to just educate you on, on how and why and the need for it that they just want to blame everybody but themselves. And you can go check the voting record and you will see who raised taxes, why they raised taxes. I give you problems out my board over in Dalton said that I raised taxes and they told y'all a whole lie. It was them the entire time. The Dalton board raises, raised the property taxes over there. So I'll just give you examples of how people can tell y'all lies and you don't do no research to make sure who's telling the truth. And it's sad because so many people go against one individual that you just believe anything people write. People got all these stupid stories out here. Oh my God, it's beyond me. So um, y'all keep on, keep on, because I'm going to keep on doing what I do, which is uh, growing our communities, going to get money, uh, bringing back to our communities, and developing programs for our youth, because our youth is the future, whether you want to believe that or not. Um, someone has to pass the baton, someone has to educate them, and someone has to give them an opportunity, um, because yes, they're going to make mistakes. Yes, they're not perfect. We're not perfect. But I just need you to know that uh, I'm not here to like tell them, you stop here. No. Whatever mistake you made, guess what? You'll get through it. Grow through it. Show them why you have the strength you have and why you're going to be the person that God has um, deemed you to be. So just do that because that's all I ever do. Um, everything that I've done and accomplished is all through him. I couldn't have done half of the things I've done or accomplished without staying prayed up and making sure that God understand. Um, what? Well, not he understand that. I understand uh, what he has me on the mission to do, which is to lead the people. So, million dollars. <laughs> y'all talking about million dollars. So here we go. We're going to talk about this million dollars because we'll be all day because y'all got a lot of questions for Super Bear. Um, but we're going to talk about this million dollars of why you're here today to talk about um, this wonderful thing that we put together. A lot of times, and I'm going to tell you the story and I'm going straight into the million dollars. So I hope y'all paying attention because I don't want to repeat it. So make sure y'all come and get the money because it's for the residents of Thornton Township. Let me, let me say that again. Only Thornton Township can get money from Thornton Township. Okay? So you cannot live in Indiana. You cannot live in Chicago. I cannot help you. I can only help those that live in our communities. So when we build programs normally, when you see it from the government level, and they build programs, right? When they build them, they're strictly for normally the poor or the people um, that seniors or veterans, they always forget about the in-between, the middle class people, right? The middle class people need help too. A lot of you guys have asked me for help and there's no program geared towards you, focused on you, uh, written for you. So myself and my team and the board of trustees here at Thorne Township, 
that that part. Uh, here at Thornton Township, have came together to create this program to help you in your time of need right now. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we are here to help you in your time of need. So right now, we are about to give away one, yeah, one million dollars to everybody at Thornton Township that qualify. Keyword, qualify. You know, everybody going to come and tell us they qualify or they need this and they need that. But I just want you to know today that um, the program was written for the middle class to be able to benefit as well. So... A million dollars. Ready? It's for... What is what you're thinking? What is what you're thinking? Ah! We have to pay mortgages and rent. So if Woo! you're behind on your mortgage or your rent, today is your day. Today on Black History Month is your day, people. We're going to make sure we provide a way. So if you were struggling, didn't have a way, didn't know what you was going to do, couldn't call your grandma, your auntie, your mama, or you got people not hitting all over that you normally lean you know, it's called lean on me. When you're not strong, can't, I can't say so what? I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on for, wait, no, but, 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 it's a but. I just want you to know that um, if you need the help, you have to be two months behind. Two months. So if you're two months behind, um, you can come here to Thornton Township at the 333 East 162nd Street building. And you're going to see GA department. That's the general assistant department. You go to the front desk. Um, you get the application. Fill it out. We also going to put it online. Fill it out. Print it. Download it. Print it. Fill it out. We need original copies. And then they got all the stuff on that. Tanika talk to you guys about what you need to bring to get the help that you need. This starts Monday. So I understand y'all going to be lined up. So when you come here Monday, uh, we got a plan. We're going to give you um, a ticket. And then it has a number on it so that you will be seen. So say, for instance, it's so busy on a, on Monday, which it is probably on the first day. Uh, we are going to allow you to still come back and get your place the next day. So I just want you to know that hope ain't lost. And then some of, some of the days they're going to stay after. But I just want you to know on Monday, come here to Thornton Township, 333 East 162nd Street in South Holland to get help with GA, General Assistance. And it's to help pay your mortgage or rent. You have to be two months behind, guys. Two months, okay? And you must you do not live in Thornton Township. Um, you cannot get um, help from us. And then the, what you say, the time frame, what you're asking for? The time is from 9 to 4. So 9, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. is the time frame uh, for you to get help here. And, yes, if you es escrow and your property taxes is included, we pay that too. We're going to pay up to $3,000, guys. $3,000 is the price tag uh, to help you with. So um, get your stuff together, line up, come and get it. It's yours. Uh, we're going to do it for the entire month. So the entire month of February until we um, don't have any more funds left, meaning because we're giving up to $1 million. Once we are done giving away the money, once the million dollars is done, then that's it, guys. That will be the end of that program. So, again, I want you guys to know. I love you, and there ain't nothing you're going to do about it. I'm going to continue to bless y'all and be a blessing to y'all. And I need you guys to be a blessing to me by supporting me, uplifting me, and tell people to stop with the nonsense. I see y'all be talking about money, this, this. I never stole a thing in my life. So y'all can stop with the theft and this and that. I don't. I don't steal. I don't. So I don't care what anybody tell you. I, I really hate thieves, believe it or not. Anybody that really truly know me, I can't stand a thief. So, uh, please, uh, stay tuned because I got a lot more great things coming. And I just hate the fact that people try to overshadow my goodness in my heart and, um, the things I actually do with negativity or gossip. Cause they ain't not gossip. Which sales. And I get it. Uh, negative news travel faster than anything. And I want people to know that we're building programs that help the community. We're making uh, sure that you get the need uh, out of Thornton Township because y'all didn't even know it existed. Over 80% didn't even know Thornton Township existed, including everybody that live around here in South Holland. So we do have outreach. Outreach go out and they talk to everybody and they make sure that you know that we exist and they make sure you know about the programs that we have before you. So again, uh, Tanika going to explain to y'all uh, what documents to bring, what you need, so you don't come in here blind. And then we're going to put it online today. And then on Monday, just come in with your documents, come prepared. Uh, everyone not going to qualify, so I want people to have attitude. 
because it ain't for everybody. Um, it's for people that um, in price range of $20,000, meaning the income level, $20,000 to $60,000. You have to make some money. So can't go, go making up no fake leases and all of that. None of that. None of that. Y'all know how y'all get. I'm, I'm being 100. Stop. So I just want people to know to just uh, be prepared. Uh, we got Tanika. Go ahead, Tanika. Go. Tell them, girl. Let them know what it is. Be real with my people because y'all know I'm, I'm the real as they come. That, that part. Hey, y'all say I ain't polished, right? Y'all say I'm a little rough around the edges. Hey, that's why they got edge control. Stop it. You stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Just want to let you all know. Oh, that oh. the program starts on Monday, like she said. But when you come and get your packet, it's going to tell you what you need to do. So it has a checkoff sheet of what you need to bring us in. And it states your documents, your ID, your Social Security cards, your rear, your five-day notice, or your uh, mortgage statement saying it's late. Because there's a W-9 has to be filled out by the landlord and the mortgage company in order to get them their money back so we can do... We do right by the money of Thornton Township, so we want to make sure that at the end of the year they get a 1099 form. So guess what? You can't sleep on Grandma's couch and think she's going to get the money, okay? This is for legitimate homeowners and renters. We will verify your information through the assessor's office to verify that you are the homeowner and that you are the landlord of that property. Also, we got an application. When you fill out the application, it asks you for all the documents and requirements for everybody in the house. We also want to let you know, they have to have a legitimate hardship. We can't just give illy willing your money away. We want to make sure everyone who qualifies, qualifies. There's going to be a lot of you all say, well, I, I'm on a fixed income and I'm this and I'm that. Life has hit us all in different ways. And so, therefore, we want to make sure that you meet the requirements of hardship. Thornton Township of the state of Illinois has rules. There's only two reasons why we do offer emergency. One is a life-changing life or provide life-threatening circumstances. That's for you all who are about to lose your home. We can't touch the forbearance. We can't touch the foreclosures. We can't touch Section 8. We can't touch those who are in eviction court. But we are trying to save those who are not there just yet. And that's the working class. Some of us, I just lost my job or I just started a job. If we can look at the information and verify that, we will make a conscious decision to either help or not to help. But we want to let everyone out there know at Thornton Township, we're here to help you. And one of the biggest things about this, as we're learning here in General Assistance, is that there is such a need. I've done seven funerals requests in one week, seven funeral requests for help. We also get water help. You have to have a hardship, and some of the hardships means loss of employment, medical disability, or you you know you're off from work and you broke your leg and you don't have any income, but you had income. We can see if we can help you with that. Um, delay of benefits from your job, your 401k, your pension, Social Security. We also natural disaster. There's a lot of us who was affected by FEMA, and that we had to use our mortgage or our rent money or to other things to maintain our homes. So therefore, we want you to know that you qualify as well. But all this have to have be documented. Document. Because we don't want people out there going to FOIA your information. Let's talk for real, as the supervisor will say. They're going to ask for proof of your information. So we want to be able to say we are legitimately doing everything right by your money. And that's what we're going to do. Because it's just not the men and women who work in that department. We take this very serious. We also work with homeless prevention. We also work with CETA. We also work with Respond Now, Salvation Army, and all the other agencies we are in partnership with. We have a good reputation out here at Thornton Township and throughout the state of Illinois. And we're well respected for doing the right thing. So therefore, in the general system department, that's what we're going to do. Some of you all are going to want to talk to us right then and there. But we don't mind talking to you, but remember, it's going to be a lot of you all coming in. We have 28 days for this program, and it's going to take 30 days to cut the check and send it to the mortgage company to the landlord because it's got to be based off the documents that they provide as well. So if you, when you come in, get your packets. Some of you all are going to do it online. 
sometimes it's not necessary, but you want to come in and talk to the team, and the team is prepared to talk to you. Because after we you do that part, we still got to go on the computer and type some stuff up. We still got to call the mortgage company. We still got to call the landlord to verify those information as well. So. We appreciate Thornton Township, our Board of Trustees, as well as our supervisor for offering this one million opportunity for our residents in Thornton Township. All right, y'all heard it from the director, the director of the General Assistance Department. Uh, I just want you all to know that um, I'm glad you guys tuned in and that you're ready um, to get the benefits here at Thornton Township. Um, we're spending the million dollars back into the people. Well, we're giving the million dollars back to you guys. So I want you guys to make sure if you know somebody or you got a parent or someone on the block that's just struggling and don't know uh, which side is up, make sure that they come here on Monday and get the help that they need. Because um, my job is to make sure I give it away. You got to give the money away. So what I mean by that is to make sure I can keep you on your feet uh, and make a way. Uh, a couple things right here. Somebody asked a question again about the tax increase. So the tax tax increase for different communities, a um, couple ones I left out, it can be each board. So it could be uh, park districts, libraries, school boards, college boards. It could be different people like that, um, the mosquito abatement. Um, you don't understand that everybody has their own little portion that they do raise. So I just want to educate you on that. If you look on your tax bill, you will see all the different entities that take a portion of your taxes. But you should go to their board meetings or ask them as it relates to their why, because I can't answer that for them. Um, I could just um, assume why majority of the people do it, which is cost of living, which a lot of people do do it because of that, because they still got their firemen, they, they police, they public works, you got union contracts, you got all these things that uh, make up your town, and they get paid through your tax money. So, um, majority of the time, that's the main reason why. And the amount they can go to is 4.99% uh, without going to the public. And that's why you, residents, tend not to see that they raise your property taxes. Even when they tell you they don't, they do. <laughs> so, that part. And my job is to just put you on notice and educate the world. Because a lot of times, people don't know uh, what it is. Uh, with that being said, make sure you go and follow me. If you're on my page now, hit the follow button. So, you can always get updates from your super mayor. Because I'm going to keep on on educating for the entire month of February. I'm going to give you a blessing and let you know uh, what's going on in your backyard uh, throughout the Southland because um, a lot of people won't tell you the truth. A lot of people won't tell you what they're doing because don't nobody got more smoke than Tiffany in you. So I just want to show you um, what it is and um, when you are a politician that speaks truth and uh, speak life back into things, you normally are the one that's uh, under attack the most. I'm doing all this um, by raising uh, my daughter, Justice, uh, I'm a single parent, and I'm still staying strong. I'm still st keeping my head held high. A lot of you thought I would have broke, crumbled by now. No, I, I'm not. God made me for this. Some people are built for things, and I think I've proven to the world, uh, shown everybody that Tiffany Henry, um is a fighter. And Tiffany Henry will uh, make it through this, uh, despite all the lies. Because what y'all mean for evil, God is turning around for positivity for me. And um, I just want to thank um, community for just the support, seriously, for the support and the love. Because at the end of the day, it takes um, a strong person to stand in my shoes. And I tell people that do talk mess, come take a day in my shoes and I guarantee you won't last. You would quit. Because most people look for us women to run, hide, cry and do all the above as a woman, right? But um, some women are strong enough to bear it all. Well, look, we, we, we carry a kid for nine months. Come on, come on, come on, stop it. Y'all think we can't take this a little, a uh, little, little hissing? We, we, we got this because everybody talk about people, but they only words. Um, but unfortunately, why I'm speaking to it is because they're worse to me. It may not be worse to others. And what I mean is um, when kids get talked about like y'all do me or anybody else that may not be as strong as me, that may be a little brittle, y'all should stop because you can sometimes drive people to suicide. And I'm speaking about suicide because a lot of kids call as relates to needing help because they're getting bullied or um, what do you call it, um, social media bullied online. And I'm cyber, that's, that's, that's what I'm looking for, that, that part. And I just want y'all to stop it. And if y'all see that, residents, people, people, because y'all human beings, people, stop it. Help me help somebody else. Because sometimes we can prevent 
something from happening by us just inserting ourselves saying, no, I don't do that. But sometimes people don't want it to be their problem because they feel it ain't at their doorstep yet. And then when it hits your doorstep, you will wish you would have said something back then. Because you could have stopped it right now before later on, five years, ten years later, it turned out to be something worse than what it is. And that's why you see me standing in the flames for um, our next generation. Because our next generation is going to want to do the same exact things that they see their super mayor doing. A lot of people know who super mayor is. Because um, majority of the time, people don't know who their elected officials are. But guess what? Go in my communities. They all know who Tiffany Henry is. So that show you I'm doing something right because they can point out an elected official. When many other times people can be sitting right next to them in a booth and not even know that's your mayor or that's your senator or, or that's your congressperson. They don't know. So uh, education is very important. This go around. Uh, mental health, I'm going to go back to that again. Guys, please, please, please support mental health. Um, referendum question. We need that in our communities. Uh, we need um, support. We need resources. Uh, when you guys call me for a therapist, a counselor, I can be able to afford it and make sure that you have it continuously, that it don't stop. So those are the things I'm advocating for. Once again, I told you all the other communities, all the other communities down yonder, all of them voted for it. But when it came to our own community, people told y'all not to do the taxes when they raised them anyway. I don't understand. Like, make it make sense. So I just want you guys to know that um, I'm going to keep on caring about y'all. I'm going to keep on loving on y'all. I'm going to stay positive. I'm not going to allow them to harden my heart. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to still stay focused. I'm going to have tunnel vision to the mess. Um, you know, I'm going to clap here and there. You know, I'm going to talk to my stuff. That's just what I do. But I'm going to pop my stuff and make sure that I um, show up and show out and, and create more and more and more programs for you, residents. Um, any other questions that I need? Or is that it? So, I just want that part. Sidewalks, people are asking about if there any help for the sidewalks. What city? And Dalton. Oh, Dalton. Okay, come through Dalton. Dalton all on the line. Okay. So, Dalton is asking if there are any help for sidewalks. Yes. If you have a sidewalk that needs repair, um, you can either inbox me or you can write it on here if you like, however. But um, if you inbox me, I don't know if Stacey's on here. Stacey Corral, he is our superintendent for public works. Um, they put a list together, and then when it comes up, which is coming up now for like March, April, once the weather breaks, they will start again uh, sidewalk project, alley project, and also street resurfacing. Um, that's something that I really, really pushed when I became mayor of Dawson in 2021. Um, I'm going into my third year, and uh, we have a lot more big projects um, coming for you residents uh, because I want our communities to look like, I told you always, Timley, Orland, Bolingbrook, all the areas we run to, we want to have a good time, we want to go out with your mate uh, or whatever, um, you go to those areas. So I just want us to be able to go in our own backyard and spend our tax dollars first there. Because when they go in their areas, guess what they do? They money turn around five different times before they leave their community. Why can't we do the same thing? That's all I'm saying. All I want is a better future for us, residents, for us. And then when y'all say someone like me get a position such as this, um, I want you guys to band with me. Let's, let's hold the fort. At the end of the day, um, this is history. Something that has never been done. It's been 29 years since you've seen a person like me sit in a seat like this. So I wish you guys would embrace it. Because y'all talk about Martin Luther King having a dream. I am the dream. So I want you guys to support me and uplift me because I need that too, guys. I keep telling you I'm human. I'm human. And I just want you guys to um, share your flowers as I give you your flowers. Because uh, sometimes it's just a thank you, a hello, or I appreciate you goes a long way. I say that to a lot of people when I'm at them doors and they didn't even know until Tiffany Henry knocked on that door and said, Ma'am, today is your lucky day. And then we talk to them about all the resources to throw in township. And some people just break down crying. We have people that call the food pantry and break down and cry. Because they didn't know how they was going to make a way for them and their family to eat a meal. And that's how I came up with uh, fresh produce. I do like meals of the week. And we put in, say it's ground beef. I give you three different ways of how to cook a meal in that box. So if it's ground beef, we're doing meatloaf. We're doing um, burgers. And we might do some hamburger help. So we're going to put the hamburger helper in there. We're going to put that meatloaf in there. So we're going to make sure you got your green peppers and your bell peppers and your onion. And your, your, uh, we do sandwich too because some of y'all like sloppy joe. But we make sure all those things are in the box so you can create a meal. And you don't have to go trying to figure out what you don't got to piece, to, uh, piece it together. So that's what I love about what I, what I do. I can uh, actually uh, create. 
be the trendsetter, uh, be the beacon of light, be the one that everybody go to to do the playbook. Because remember, they hating, but they taking notes though, right? It's that part that people tend to forget about. Um, People are taking plays out of our book all day long. Um, some of y'all are doing the snow program. I created that when I became mayor. And now some people are following pursuit. Um, it's just said when people don't want to just band together because a woman is running things. Right now, if y'all ain't seen it now, <laughs> women are now leading in America. And I just need you guys to know that uh, we're going to keep on growing. We're going to keep on growing. But that's where I'm at with it. Anything else I need to answer for a get off? Is there any, is still FEMA support available? Yes, FEMA is at our location in Dalton, our new police uh, department number two that we're building. It was the old Manly Fitness. Um, you can go there between the hours of 9 to 5. It is Monday through Friday. Um, I believe they will be there until February 9th. Ninth, right? February 9th. So if you need help um, due to that September storm that everybody needed help, War, please go get help. Um, also, I think that number was 211 that they dialed. Do you remember? It was 211 they dialed to get help. And it, it's a group of like non for profit uh, organizations that band together and they go and they tear out the basements due to the flood. So I don't know if they're still doing that. I know when FEMA first arrived, um, we was giving that out. So if you need the help, please do that. Oh, please help my neighboring town. Uh, Fitzgerald, hey man, I love you, dude. Just keep your head up. He is struggling over there. That's Mayor Fitzgerald over in Dixmore. If you guys have water, if you're in a grocery store, man, sometimes just, just give a little bit. Go over there and drop off some cases of water to them. They have a board order um, over for their city due to the fact that they had several water main breaks over there, and they are really struggling. Please help Dixmore. Please. If you're watching this and you live somewhere else, please help Dixmore. Just give them water. Just cases and cases of water. Go buy four pallets at Food for Less or Pete's down the street. And just go have it delivered to Dixmore. Or call me and I'll pick it up for you. That way you got no reason that you couldn't go get the water. I'll deliver it. But, but all I can do is just um, tell you guys the community's need. Because they need your help. Because I always tell you, always help. Because you never know when that could be you. Help each other. And that's what we should do. We do it with wars, right? When we in war, we all here jumping in there, everybody fighting. But when, it, when it's in our own backyard, we don't want to help rebuild our communities. But we'll help you tear down another person. That's sad. That's sad. I keep telling you, I count your blessings. Be a blessing to somebody. Don't be a lesson. Be that blessing. Because sometimes you end up being that lesson because you're trying to tear down that individual. Um, again, help, help, help. Those are, those are in need. And um, the future is ours. What other questions? So the question was, can you guys apply online for the million dollar program? Uh, we need original copies, guys. So we're not accepting them online. We're putting it up so you can't print it and you can fill it out. That way you don't have to waste another step when you get here. Or if you don't want to print it or don't have a printer, you can come here and get it from the front desk. But that means you have to sit in the lobby and fill the application out. Um, but that's the way you can apply. What else you got? Just taking questions right now, then we're going to conclude this evening. And I hope the news do show this. I hope the news show the good that we do in our community. I hope that you show that we're giving away a million dollars today uh, in Thornton Township, um, helping pay mortgages and rent, rental assistance for any resident that lives in Thornton Township, as long as you qualify, uh, must be a resident of Thornton Township, and the income requirements between $20,000 to $60,000, guys. So I just want to re-put that out there so people that's coming in at the end that you understand what it is. Our office location is 333 East 162nd Street, uh, South Holland. Again, 333 East 162nd Street in South Holland. Um, what is this? Where can we drop water off? If you want to drop it here at the township, you drop the water off here. Uh, but I prefer you to drop it off at Dixmore. Anybody got Dixmore address that y'all can give, give me real quick? Dixmore, What's the address? The actual address. Um, I'm going to get somebody to give me that address for you right now. And then we will give you the address to Dixmore. But if you Google Dixmore Village Hall or Dixmore Police Department, um, but that's where you would take it to. If you can't make it that way or it's too far, you want to drop it off at Thorn Township, uh, we will take it to them for you. And you can leave a note. Please do. Because people like, I keep telling you, just, just get them some love. Tell them Mary doing a great job. Tell them, um, just give them a flower or something. Um, Dixmore is 170 West 
145th Street, Dixmore, Illinois, 60426. Again, 170 West 145th Street, Dixmore, Illinois, 60426. Water. So if you have cases of water, please um, take that there. Again, if you can't, won't, or you stop here first, either way is fine. We'll get it to them. What's the other question? Okay, that concludes our business. Uh, again, press the follow button so you can have all the updates from your super mirror. What is that? I can't hear you. Okay, um, that's it for me. Oh, the podcast. Again, the podcast is going down next week. You're going to hear that too, baby. Uh, you're going to want to hear that. So make sure you uh, follow me and make sure you tune in to the podcast so we can lay all the mess to rest. And that way you hear from your super mayor uh, where you're going to get the actual truth of what's going on with all these news articles and stories. Um, somebody took care of somebody. Yeah, y'all, y'all play the news real good, huh, to do them stories on me. But, uh, I just want to, like, uh, clear it all up because it's a, it's a shame that it's one sided and then people just report what somebody told them, like I said, but they never ever go get the facts. And it's also shameful that when we respond, you guys don't write our response. And I'm only speaking to a certain people. Y'all already know who that is um, that's doing the negative stuff. Uh, anybody else I don't really have no issue with, but it's just mainly them. And then hashtag guys put I stand with Tiff. Hashtag I stand with Tiff. For those that support me, for those that love what I'm doing, for those that uh, want me to keep growing um, in my field, and those that like all the resources that we brought to the community. Another thing that we did just do um, last year, uh, we was awarded a million dollars, one million dollars, and for the at-risk youth. And with that, we had um, 12 kids go to the EMT class and also become actual firemen and women. Uh, it was 12 in, 12 out. Um, they graduate, they pass the state exam, and it was actually, actually epic. Uh, but that's the type of stuff I would wish the news would pick up and write about because, uh, man, that day was dope. It was so epic. We had 12 kids join us and 12 kids graduated. You can't beat that. So it was a 100% success rate. So we're going to do that again. So anybody that's watching that want to be a fireman, uh, please stay tuned to that program because uh, we all actually place you in a municipality. And they all, all the kids are placed within Thornton Township uh, Fire Departments. So thank you so much for that. And then also, we had 429 kids that we provided CPR training for and Stop the Bleed for. That was really epic as well uh, because you guys see, if you watch everything on the news, you have shootings that happen any given moment. I want our kids to have the tools they need to make sure they succeed uh, or survive um, if anything was to happen in our community uh, for themselves or someone next to them. But my job is to always, always make a way and always, always provide knowledge and always provide um, tools because you can't do your job if you ain't got the tools to do your job. So that's my job to do that. And then we also gave over 80 scholarships to over, um, well, 80 scholarships of $2,500, up to $2,500, guys. And that was really dope, too. Um, thank you for those that's right now stand with Tiff. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. So um, we got a lot of good things going on this year. Um, we're talking in schools to the kids because, again, I am history. I am your history maker. I am a history billboard walking. So basically, I go into schools and I talk to them and about where I started and where I come. So I love that. I love that. What was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, another thing that she just mentioned to me was the event for uh, Black History Month. It will be February 24th. It will be in a lower level here. If you have anybody that you want to uh, recommend, that you think it deserves an award for just being epic and awesome, um, please let us know so we can do that uh, for them. Because, again, I keep telling you, I, I want to give people their flowers while they're here. Don't give them their flowers while they're gone. What they can't okay, spell them. What they gonna do? Y'all be taking them flowers after they, they nothing. Okay, but I just want to give y'all your flowers while you're here. I just do. <laughs> what else is that? What other questions you got? I think that's, it. that's it. We done. We cut. It's, it's a wrap. So. Um, thank you again for watching. Stay tuned to this week where Tiffany Henry has the tea. Stay tuned to Tiffany Henry on the Move podcast. 
going down this week. I don't know if it's going to be probably Wednesday or Thursday. I just want y'all to see that because y'all going to love that. Uh, because y'all know that. I, I am a character. Everybody said I know that. But that's just my personality. Y'all know that. Um, because you got to laugh uh, through all the, the pain. You got to just keep a positive outlook and just stay focused. And it don't bother me uh, due to the fact that I got a lot of angels around me. And I just love you. Come on. Thank you. I love you, baby. I love you. And I love you, Chastis. I love you because they always keep me uh, grounded and keep me just, just strong. I, I, without them, man, huh? I, I don't know what we'll do. And thank you to my parents, too. Y'all are awesome. And yeah, your daughter still made history. So that y'all can still gloat because people don't like them to talk about what I have done, which is make history, which is history. Um, people want to talk about negative stuff. And it's a shame that you can't even appreciate the moment that you have made right here, right now. So um, continue to do that. And that's why y'all see me uh, be funny about it because I can only tell my story through humor and when I do make videos of things that's just how I can express it sometimes and it's amazing that the news take clips from all my videos it's just I don't understand that you just want to interview just call <laughs> but except those other no never but yeah just call and I will I will help I will help because um I did go to the White House. That was dope. Um, all the other videos you saw, y'all do know that I am a politician as well. And with that being said, you might see a video where it might be a, a diss video or something. But that's doing my campaign mode. Campaign mode. Two different things. Campaign mode. Business mode. Campaign mode. Nah, that is different. So I just want you to understand it. So when they be taking the video, chopping it up, acting like I made it up as as of now, and it was probably two, three years old from when it was election season. So I just want to uh, make sure that you know the truth, Tiffany Henry. Okay, what nobody else say, all you got to do is judge me for what I do. Because you got people around here not liking people Ooh. because of what somebody else said. You don't even know the person. That's like somebody come and tell, tell me not to like you, and I don't even know you. But now, they to put all this dirt on your name, and I'm walking around not liking you for what reason? Make it make sense. Why? We are grown. I keep saying this. This is not high school. Stop it. Judge me for what I do. My work speaks for itself. Not what people claim I do, allow me and say I do. I won 24 lawsuits. So, it can't be Tiffany. Uh, yeah, I know y'all want it to be Tiffany, but it's not Tiffany. Stop. It's the people that's actually keeping up the mess and tearing down their communities in the process is the problem. And y'all have to stay focused on that. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to those that throw the rock and hide their hand. Pay attention to those that's pointing the finger when it's three more pointing back. Pay attention. But you're not. I need you to pay attention. So now that's why I'm going to speak. And I'm going to tell you the facts over fiction. Facts over fiction. So it's called Truth Speaks. Uh, Tiffany Henry on the Move Podcast. Uh, thank you again for watching. Good night. I'll see you guys Monday. Download the application. I love you and that's nothing you can do about it.